there, welcome back to Max School Prep TV. Long time no see. Actually, not really, because we saw each other in the last video. Uh, but anyways, what we're gonna be talking about today is the three selves. And ooh, I know that seems super mysterious, sounds kind of strange, which is why you should definitely continue watching this video to see what that's all about. Uh, but in all seriousness, what we're really gonna be delving into today is this idea that whenever you want to see a change in your life or whenever you really wanna do anything in your life, accomplish something, meet a goal, something like that, it all boils down to one person. And that one person is you. If you don't know, my name is Mackenzie Warren. I'm the founder of Max School Prep. And video by video, I'm investing in your success so that I can basically help you be the best version of yourself, be the best you can be, put your best foot forward. And uh, before we jump into the content, I just wanna encourage you to subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and then also hit the notification bell so that you can stay in the loop. Okay, thank you. Hey, 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 it's Mac. Um, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is this quote that I brought up in my very first video that I posted on this uh, channel, Understanding Mac School Prep. And it was basically this quote by Daniela Pierre Bravo, and I'm only gonna use a little piece of it um, in today's video, but it says, something really powerful happens when you come to the realization that you are the only person who can change your course. And so what that means is that if you are wanting to see a change in your life, if maybe you're wanting to break a bad habit or, you know, make your dreams a reality in some way, it all starts with the man in the mirror. And the man in the mirror is you. Now you might be wondering, well, okay, you know, well, what exactly can I do? And what it's gonna require is this lifetime commitment starting today to the three selves. And the three selves, which we're gonna break down in a minute, are self-accountability, self-discipline, and self-empowerment slash motivation, which kind of go hand in hand. And so self-accountability, the first one I wanna talk about, it is more than just a mindset. Self-accountability is this skill that you are constantly refining, that you are constantly honing. And what it basically boils down to is you being committed to yourself, being committed to your goals, being committed to your dreams, basically being committed to whatever results you are trying to produce. And so how to exactly can you become committed to yourself? What exactly goes into that? Well, one of the first things is starting to take ownership of your life. And what that means is basically taking responsibility for your choices, for your decisions, and for your success slash failure. And so, yes, taking ownership and taking responsibility for your success. Not being afraid to be like, yeah, I did that. But then also, whenever you make a mistake, not being too prideful to say, okay, I messed up, where did I go wrong? How can I basically make an adjustment? How can I fix this? Kind of another thing that goes into self-accountability is having this mindset that whatever you're doing, you owe it to yourself. And I think that it is so important that you never get trapped where you are ending up when you're doing something, you're asking yourself, well, why am I doing this? And then you answer saying, well, I'm trying to prove something to X, Y, Z. I'm trying to just prove something to someone else. Because the bottom line is, is if you are ever caught in this situation where you are trying to prove yourself to somebody else who maybe is doubting you or calling you into question, you are going to be miserable because living your life to please others is hard. You're never gonna be able to please everybody, ever. And also on top of that, nobody is ever going to butter your bread and love you like you are going to love you, which is why you need to be in this position where you're only, you're doing what you're doing for you because that's what makes you happy. That's what brings a smile to your face. And you should constantly be seizing any and every opportunity to remind yourself how awesome and how incredible you are because you are. Now, the next self <laughs> that I want to elaborate on is self-discipline. And this is one that is, is hard. And I said a lifetime commitment to the three selves. This one is difficult, right? Dis disciplining in, in any sense of the word is, is hard. What self-discipline is gonna require is 
mental strength. Basically, when saying when you put your mind to a task, you are going to be determined and you are going to have follow through and you are going to do everything in your power to make sure whenever you start something that you finish it. The reason it's so hard, self-discipline, is because it requires that you channel this, this inner grit, this inner determination to say, okay, I am not going to veer from my course that's going to take me right to the goal that I have set out to accomplish. And so what goes into basically staying focused to staying on this course is having that mental strength to put distractions aside. If that is social media, if that's kind of your kryptonite, then being strong enough to say, okay, I can't do that while I'm supposed to be working on, um, you know, whatever goal I'm trying to achieve. Maybe your kryptonite is your friends. Then hey, basically saying, hey, look, don't call me during this period, or maybe you just, you don't have to tell them that, but you just don't take calls during this period, or, or you don't go hang out that weekend because you have stuff to do and you know that you have these impending deadlines, these goals that you're trying to meet. And speaking of deadlines, another thing that really goes into self-discipline is when you set a deadline, when you say, okay, I'm gonna have this done by this date, you have to stay true to it. You have to say, okay, this is when I'm gonna achieve it and that's when it's gonna get done no matter what I have to sacrifice um, in the meantime. And so how I can encourage you to, to do that is don't make excuses for yourself. Something doesn't get done, goes back to that self accountability thing, owning up to your mistakes, figuring out where things went wrong and making the adjustment. I also wanna say that if, if you end up messing up, if you end up making a mistake, if you end up kind of, you know, maybe not meeting that um, deadline that you had in mind for yourself, then don't reward yourself. I was slacking off, I didn't reach this goal, so now I'm not gonna to get to go out with my friends this weekend because I messed up and I didn't take care of my business. Or maybe you're like, well, I'm not gonna eat my favorite ice cream bar tonight because during lunch, I didn't go and talk to my teacher because I was too busy hanging out with my friends and, and shooting the breeze. So kind of making sure that you're holding yourself accountable and you're disciplining yourself when uh, necessary so that you're more incentivized to stay on track and keep that laser focus that is necessary when you're trying to accomplish a goal. Now, with all of that said, I apologize. I'm gonna leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger here, but for the rest of the content, you can catch me in the next video, which is gonna be part two of our two-part series on the three selves. But before you leave, make sure that if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and also go ahead and click the notification bell. Bye, and see you in the next video.